I am queer. My queerness shapes how I see the world. I also hear through my queerness. My queer identity is inherent to how I interpret my oral realities. It's understood in interpretive research scholarship that a researcher does not exist separately from their work. This is especially true with queer scholarship. My queer voice provides new perspectives to old methods when I name my queerness. In my work, queer has been fully integrated into the structure of my auto-ethnographic process, reflecting on my experience as a queer listener, hearing queerly the works of queer composers. I focus on Pauline Oliveros. Her lesbian identity and experiences informed and shaped her music as much as her music did her identity. Oliveros reaches to me across queer wavelengths spanning decades, not confined to the moment of creation and composition, nor to my moment of listening. Her accordion warbles to me from an untethered omnipresence. Wherever queers may be, there is queer. But, you're asking yourself, what does this mean? Poetic language aside, how can someone queer hearing? How can music, noise, sound, how can these things be queer? They don't have sexuality. They don't have gender. A definition. Queer is a verb. Too queer. Do it queerly. Queering research means not only to center my work in my queer identity, but to recognize queerness as inherent and present in nature. Queer is not a label I impose upon my surroundings. Queer is a name for that welcoming shiver along my arms and spine when a hot prairie breeze stirs the long grass around my feet. Queer is the soft kiss sent up from my sternum to the roots of my hair with each held note when horse sings from cloud. Queer is when I stop talking and know myself without a need for words in response to the thunder's call. Queer is when sunbeams roll through holes in the clouds to remind my body to just simply be. Queer is a feeling, a verb. Queer must be experienced. Queer is identity. Queer is often resisted. In sound studies specifically, queer has been met with reluctance and outright homophobia. Queer voices are notably absent from musicology. A straight hearing of Oliveros is inherently incomplete. Queer hearers inherently connect with queer presence beating at the work's heart. In question, thank you.